California is always in fire season and agencies up and down the state need more people to respond to those wildfires. A nonprofit in El Dorado County is working to address that shortage. Future Fire Academy is helping train the next generation of firefighters. Edie Lambert introduces us to today's KCRA 3 Community Champion. When that Caldor fire came, it was so close to home. In the hills of Placerville, hey, hold up. home protection is top of mind. The fenceable space is a good 100 feet from the homeowner's house. Anthony Pedro knows in the event of a fire, these steps are vital. At least with these, these fuel breaks and these uh, defensible space projects, we, we give the homeowners a, a, a fighting chance. Pedro is a firefighter. I'm an engineer. I drive the engine and, uh, and uh, license EMT. And the founder of Future Fire Academy. We're a non-traditional academy. The program is free. The cadets can also get paid while they train. Are you guys ready to feed the fire with all this stuff? and they're working to get their certifications to become firefighters. We got it, got it, thank you. As they focus on the future, they're saying goodbye to their past. Well, some of our cadets are formerly incarcerated behind me. I did actually nine years in prison, uh, and so upon release, I struggled to get into the fire service. I was in the fire program, but uh, I didn't have that pathway or the mentorship to get there. Uh, so I struggled for a while, but uh, eventually I got there. Some of my buddies who I kept in contact with, who I, I did prison time with, they also b tried to pursue the fire service and weren't as successful. One of them caught more time and he hung himself in his jail cell and the other one overdosed himself purposely. You know, they just, they tapped out. Now Pedro's nonprofit helps others get into the fire service. I enjoyed it because it gave us a purpose. They're giving us a trade. They're giving. They're allowing us to get out there and do something better with our lives. I'll throw it over to you if you want. Kyle Elledge and Jimmy Miller are graduating this weekend. My main goal is to be in Cal Fire. A federal hotshot crew or a probably Cal Fire. We're trying to make the right connections. Once these seven cadets graduate, they'll have the certification they need to apply for a firefighting job. I think it's a huge deal with helping these guys that are incarcerated get out and actually have a chance. You know, a lot of guys don't um, take advantage of that opportunity, but for the guys that are willing to do, do what it takes to get here and work and turn their lives around, it's a great opportunity for us. I feel like it's my responsibility, it's my duty to, um, to do this. Edie Lambert, KCRA 3 News. After graduation, the academy follows up with the firefighters to make sure they get those jobs.